Hi everybody, Bob Gager here with this week's installment of Ask Bob, where I get to answer your questions about Photoshop Elements. This week's question comes from Tracy, and Tracy wants to know how to create that effect where your subject is in focus and the background is blurry. Well Tracy, that's actually really easy in Photoshop Elements. It's called the shallow depth of field effect. So here I've got a photo that I took in Santorini. If you've ever been there, you've probably enjoyed the uh, donkeys as you walk up the hill to uh, go see the town. And creating the shallow depth of field effect is really easy. Just open up your image, come over here in the edit mode where there's full, quick, and guided, and switch over to guided. And the guided edit section called lens effects includes depth of field. So just go ahead and click on depth of field. And there's a couple of choices of how to create this shallow depth of field effect. There's simple and custom. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to use the custom one because that's the more complex one. But try simple because often you can get really great results using simple as well. So here in the custom depth of field guided edit, there's just a couple steps to get it done. First is you use the quick selection tool. So go ahead and click on the quick selection tool and just drag your mouse over your subject. So I'll just drag over the donkey here. We'll get kind of all the way around his back, down his legs, of course over his face and around his nose and down to his chin. And you can see I don't have to do real precise selections. Photoshop Elements is automatically finding the edge of the donkey for me and automatically making that selection. Oh, can't forget his ears. We've got to get his ears. So I'll just drag around his ears, drag around that ear. And we've already got our selection. Now, oops, we missed right here, so let's kind of just do a little clicking right around this handle on his saddle. We want to adjust our brush size sometimes um, to make it a little smaller or a little bigger to assist in that selection process. Now you can see as quick as that, Elements has helped me make the selection of the subject of my photo. But sometimes it overselects. So you can see when we select it around the handle of the saddle, it also got this sky. We don't want that selected. So if I hold my Option key down, you can see the cursor changes from a plus to a minus. And then I can just click there, and it'll deselect that section. And you can see over here where his nose is. His nose is pretty much the same color as the cement in the background. I'm just going to, again, hold my Option key down and click and drag a little bit right around here to get that very precisely selected. Oh, and his mouth here. We want to click minus, hold the Option key down and click with the minus symbol right here where his mouth is open so the cement shows through. So once you've got your selection, step two is to actually just add some blur. So over here on the right we have our instructions and we've got a button. Adding blur is as simple as clicking Add Blur. And there you go. We've now got the shallow depth of field where our donkey's in focus, the background's blurred, and even the foreground's blurred. His friend up here uh, that was right in front of me is blurry as well. And optionally, I can go on to step three and control exactly how much blur I've got. If I crank this slider way up, I can get a lot of blur and get that effect if that's what I was after. Now that's maybe a little too much. I want to crank it down to where it looks kind of natural and gives me that nice shallow depth of field look. Uh, as if I had gotten that at the time that I captured this image. Uh, when I'm done, I just hit done, and there you go. If I switch over to full edit mode, and you can see all the work that was done behind the scenes for me in Photoshop Elements. So all the layers that were created, the mask that was created, the blur layer that was created. All that's right here so I can learn how to do this kind of technique in full mode if that's what I wanted to do. But of course doing it in guided edit is not only quick, but it's really easy. So I hope that answers your question. Have a good time with Photoshop Elements.